Hi there, it's Kurt with Kurt Tanner Motor Cars. Today we have an offer this 1960 MGA 1600 Mark I Roadster. It's finished in this, uh, this bright red with black trim. It's fitted with an 1800 MGB engine with a four-speed transmission. We purchased this car recently from Pennsylvania. Um, it was in a garage and um, the, the father of the household was driving this car quite regularly and then one day he decided to, uh, to repaint it. So it went off to the paint shop. When it came home, it never really made it back on the road. It sat then in a garage for about 35, 40 years. So the paintwork was new, but um, you know, just over the years here, it's aged a little bit. So, um, you know, body and paint on the car, the paintwork's considered, you know, decent, but kind of drivery, driver quality. Um, does have a few little little chips here and there, and it's it, it's just a modest job. So, you know, nice and shiny. You can see it's lifting a little bit here. You know, it's a nice and shiny paint job. There's a few stains here in the in the trunk lid. You know, from five, 10 feet, it looks good. It looks like the car had a set of rockers uh, put on it. Uh, everything outside here looks really good and solid, but it had a set of rockers and dog leg repairs. It has these wider TR6 rims fitted. And what they did with the front fenders is they kind of they kind of swelled out the, uh, they kind of rolled out these wheel arches a bit. So they're nice and level here with the uh, with the front wheels. So they did a good job doing that. You can see in line here, the wheels are, are nice right on the body line. So if you wanted to keep those wider rims on it, it would uh, it would still look fine. But these are like big fat 185, 15 rims. So overall, you know, nice-ish body and paint that's older. Um, windshield's in great shape. The, the original grill has been replated. Um, over here, very interesting. We have a ton of new parts for the car. We've got a brand new toth, uh, cloth tonneau cover, brand new set of side curtains, uh, replated front bumper, brand new front bumper with overriders, air cleaners, so, you know, a few grand worth of extras here that go with the car, which is real nice. There's a spare, the original spare tire. Here's the original soft top that needs to be restored and uh, a new top fitted. Um, I'll show you the interior here. The interior is uh, black. It was removed when it went to the paint shop. So um, the floors came out. I think they cut new uh, marine plywood floors, which are correct put the new wood floors in, sealed them all up. Dashboard came out, which is nice, and they painted it body color, which is correct for these cars. Instruments look really nice and crisp on the car. Brand new steering wheel was going on at the time. So yeah, the car does need trimming, um, which, is, which is fairly easy on an MGA. Um, the trunk here has is, is pretty solid, but there's a couple little openings here. I don't know what was going on there. Um, maybe they were changing out the shocks and they needed, they needed access to these, that little bolt there. But yeah, there's a couple incisions that need a little repair, but the rest of the trunk I'll show you here is, is, is bones stock solid and, and nice. So trunk lid fits nicely. Um, I'll show you the engine compartment. An exciting thing is it's fitted with a 15, uh, excuse me, a, a, an 1800 MGA, MGB engine. So it's fitted with an 18G block, which is the, uh, fitted with an 18G engine, which is the very early series of the MGB 1800 three main. So it still has the tack drive cable for the uh, tachometer, which is nice. You don't have to convert any of that. The pan up front here, really nice and straight. Um, original radiator, carbs are all fitted. The engine turns nicely by hand, but I'm sure it hasn't run in all this time. And, and uh, you know, it needs, probably needs the carbs redoing and things like that. 
definitely breaks, carbs, you know, some knickknacks. But yeah, hood panels fit good on the car, pretty nice. So I'll finish this quick walk around here. I'll do a full walk around and show you everything. The the, the trunk does fit nice. It's just got the uh, the license illumination plate in there. So so good good little starter car if you're in the market for an MGA Roadster. It is a desirable 1600 Mark One with disc brakes fitted. It's fitted with that very desirable 1800 cc three main MGB engine. Over here, we've got a bunch of new parts for it. And um, make a nice little car. It's, uh, you, could, you can reduce the wheels back to standard. But um, yeah, these MGA projects are getting, they're getting more scarce. They're getting harder to find. Um, and this is, a, this is a great beginner basis here for a, a, a good little restoration. So it's a 1960 MGA Roadster, 1600 Mark I red with black interior and it's for sale right now on our website at www.kurttannermotorcars.com